I'm Ed Schultz. This is The Ed Show. And in my playbook tonight, the 1st Battalion of the President Obama's 30,000 troop surge is starting to arrive in Afghanistan. But we haven't heard much about the President's plans for those troops when they return home from the battlefield. Joining me now is the founder of the Iraq and Afghanistan veteran of America, Paul Rykoff. Paul, good to have you on tonight. Uh, Paul, the President did not use the word or mention veterans in his speech when he outlined his plan in dealing with this surge. Is that troubling to you? It is. It's a huge opportunity missed. We were all looking for one big national call to action. And what better nonpartisan call to action is there than supporting our veterans? He could have talked about how, how folks could have volunteered at the VA hospitals. He could have talked about how they could have supported veterans charities around the country. He could have talked about how they could have volunteered in their local community to help military families. And I think he really did miss a historic opportunity to bring the country together at this pivotal time around a really urgent issue. And going into the holidays, it would have been perfect. We need everybody to focus on veterans' issues. No no matter how they feel about health care or any of these other partisan issues that are bouncing around Washington. Was that the place to do it at West Point, you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to talk about a big change and a big difference from Vietnam, how about talking about the fact that we're going to focus on supporting veterans this time? Yeah. Much better than we did on Vietnam. I think every cadet in that stadium would have, stand up, would have stood up and, and applauded that. All right. What, what's happening with the GI Bill? We, we've been getting some communications from some veterans who were going to school and not getting their tuition paid for. What's happening there? Well, the, the VA is really struggling to implement this historic GI Bill. It's a great benefit online of what we did after World War II where everybody who served can go to college, but they're really choking on it right now. As of today, you got almost 60,000 veterans who are still waiting for their GI Bill checks. Those 60,000 veterans are waiting on average 47 days for their checks. Second semester is starting and the VA is not getting the checks out in the local communities. They made some good emergency efforts. They cut emergency checks and yeah. sent out some bans, but we need presidential attention on this. We and need him to remove that backlog and get these checks moving. And I know the uh, uh, IAVA, your organization does a lot with post-traumatic stress disorder. Is, is that problem getting enough attention? No, not nearly enough. You've got folks now who are going on fourth, fifth, sixth tours. Over 800,000 people have been there more than once. One of our guys, Sergeant Todd Bowers, just got back on Friday. He was on his fourth tour since 9-11. Mm. So it's really piling up and we need attention every day no matter what else is going on in the news. Paul, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate the support. You bet.